Hey everyone, this is Pig for Life, and in today's Transformers review, we'll be taking a look at Hasbro's Transformers Generations Legends class Autobot Power Glide. So, this is from the Combiner Wars line, and he is the last Legends class figure that I'm reviewing from Wave 1. So, let's go ahead and start with packaging reviews always. And you can see the same deco that we've seen throughout the wave so far the black and red deco. Um, you do get some artwork up here of Power Glide. It's still fairly low resolution. I, I mean, I don't know why. It seems that way, maybe it's just me, but it looks really grainy. So I hope they change that in uh, the future lines or they at least improve that. In any case, uh, the rest of the packaging you get to see uh, Paraglide through the window, obviously. You see Autobot Paraglide, you see it combines to form, it actually says go around to the side. And it shows a picture of Superion along the back, but you do not see Paraglide making up him at all. Um, so what he actually does is he has quote unquote three modes and one of the modes is a um, rifle, gun mode, whatever you want, blaster mode so that it can be used by Deluxes or by Superion so that's kind of what they mean when they say combine with uh, they, he also has obviously his robot mode which we saw and his alt mode and that he transforms in 10 steps and he has a one sentence bio up here that says aerial acrobat well versed in dogfighting tactics but as far as packaging Pretty simple for the Legends class figures, um, nothing too complicated, so let's go ahead and get it open and start with the review. Alright, so here is Power Glide out of packaging. You get a nice little character card, which is kind of their standard starting with the Combiner Wars line. A really nice piece of artwork, I, I like it. Um, I, I really like this artist, whoever they've been using. Um, I'm sure one of the comic fans can probably point that out, but very nice. You get a set of instructions, which are folded up nice and compactly. And it shows you all three modes. So it shows you um, Alt to Robot, Alt to here, what they're showing is the blaster. And on the other side, they show you the Robot Alt. And yeah, that's about it. So get those out of the way. But let's get to the character, Power Glide himself. So here is his little... Legends robot mode, and he's pretty fun looking. He's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do a quick 360. You can see he has some exposed weaponry on his back. But yeah, that's that's Power Glide. He's nothing too crazy going on. He does have a nice little head sculpt. Let's pan up a bit. That is definitely Paraglide. Oh, there we go. It's definitely Paraglide ish. He also has this nice emblazoned Autobot symbol. So let's go ahead and get into articulation. Articulation wise, he's what you'd come to expect from Legends class figures. He has ball, point, ball jointed shoulders. Most of his joints are ball jointed. He does have a really nice deep elbow. doesn't have waist articulation because of the way he transforms. He does have ball jointed um, hips so he does get a decent range of motion. He has this butt flap which you can kind of move to get out of the way to get some more backwards motion but it's still pretty restricted. He even has ball jointed knees so you can swivel at the knees. And then feet he has an uh, ankle tail forward for transformation purposes. But yeah, that's really it as far as articulation. For transformations, it does have three modes. We're going to go from robot to alt, and then we'll go from alt to kind of his third blaster mode. But overall, I, I like the way he looks. I, I, I think he's a pretty fun little figure. I don't really collect Legends class all that much. I've only really started during uh, the Combiner Wars. And... Um, He's one of the, I would say he's one of the stronger Legends class figures from uh, the first wave. I like him and uh, I like Bombshell a lot from the first wave. Alright, so uh, just really quick to show you what, what kind of scale you're working with. Let's put him in with Skydive, who he's shown on the back of the box with. And then you can bring in Silverbolt. So he's a little bit smaller than I would like in terms of just pure scale, but since they're making him like a, a target master-ish kind of character for the Combiner Wars. I think that works. Get these guys out of the way. Alright, and then let's 
go ahead and zoom in for transformation. So transformation is pretty simple. First thing you're going to want to do is flip the head around and that uh, his head is the nose cone of his alt mode. So just flip that around. Next thing you're going to want to do is bend his elbows all the way and then he has a, uh, I guess it's easier to show you. So there's a tab on the inside of his forearm and then there's a slot right here. So you want to bend the the elbow all the way and just tab that in. There we go. Same thing on the other side. <coughs> uh, then what we'll do is you actually push back on the head and that pull, pulls up the um, most of the fuselage. You're going to like ex uh, extend it up. It's on this um, articulating hinge and in here there are are two slots on each side and then two pegs on the inside which may be a little hard to see but you basically just slide that down so don't don't go bring it forward and try to clip it in this way you have to go kind of straight down from here and I'll slot in okay sorry if it's losing focus uh, next thing you'll do is uh, it's easiest to do this first so if you lift this up you can peg in both of the legs, two halves of the legs. Uh, it, they don't peg in all that well. Mine don't stay very um, together. Uh, but you use this butt flap thing and there's two slots here and these two pegs on the legs to kind of help keep it together. So you peg that in, try to get these two halves and you can see I, I, mine don't peg in all that well. It seems to be a recurring problem with this mold. Uh, you can fold up the feet you can fold down these sections here and you have oh nope I'm sorry I forgot the top uh, you can pull there's these wings are tabbed in just pull out to the side at the top and then you want to rotate them and then there's actually a peg here and a peg hole there so you're going to want to rotate and press down on that and as you can see that tail section comes untabbed quite often so here is uh, power glide. The one last thing you can do is also pull out his landing gear at the front. And he has molded landing gear on his feet here, on his heels. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be able to keep this guy pegged in probably, but this is just to show you what he looks like. <coughs> so yeah, a nice little plane mode. The wings are angled uh, upwards. Uh, I am not a plane guy, so I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be with this plane. I'm guessing it is because it's actually straight at the at the beginning, closer to the fuselage, and then go goes up. So I'm guessing that is by design. But yeah, that's it for his alt mode. His alt mode is really kind of cool. I, I it it's it's a um, really kind of a cute little plane. I, I like I like the design. These things um, are I guess maybe for like water landings maybe? Not really sure. But yeah, a pretty fun alt mode. And to get to from alt to his uh, target master mode, I guess we'll, what we'll call it, um, it's kind of in between robot and alt. So let me scroll this up a bit. Let's zoom out so you can see a little bit better. So the first thing we'll do is uh, fold these tail uh, fins down. Then you're gonna these are these um, engines are on a sliding sliding um, I don't know piece. So you slide them down. You want to lift up this um, this piece here, and you can actually see a, a reticle there. And lifting that up is going to make it so that these pieces stay even less together. But that's how it's going to be. And then you flip up the wings, unpeg them and flip them up, and peg them back in as if you were going back to robot mode. So uh, this slot up here and that peg. And that's it. If you can get these two halves together. So this is the front of the gun. And you see it has kind of three barrels here, here, and here. 
see the reticle. He also has those, um, I guess, missile bays there. And then his uh, landing gear actually becomes, his front la uh, forward landing gear becomes his uh, handle. And you can bring in Skydive again. This is who they showed him off with in the on the back of the packaging. So he's quite big. He's not going to be able to hold him up by himself, but uh, it's really designed for Superion. So let's get him out the way. All right. So this mode is just kind of a bonus fun mode. Uh, I think it's kind of cool that they did it. And it kind of makes sense that he's part of the aerial bots being a plane. Um, but yeah, it's a nice kind of bonus mode for a Legends class. Having a triple changer Legends class is pretty unique. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him back into alt mode and then back into robot. So first thing you do, well, let's slide these up. <coughs> all the way forward. Keep these legs pegged in. Uh, you'll tab this back section again to keep these legs together somewhat better. Fold these tail pieces up. Untab the wings again and peg them down. And then you're back into alt mode, so very quick transformation back into alt mode. And then uh, to get back into robot mode, we're gonna go back up with the wings, and tab them back in. We're going to pull up this piece here, just to get it freed up. Split the legs, rotate the feet down. Fold these tail pieces all the way back so that they rest on the back of the foot. Untab the arms. Strain them out. Fold in the landing gear. Rotate. Oh, let's do that first. So once you do that, you can again pull up on the fuselage to bring it up and according it back down. Slide that back in and then turn the head to get back into robot mode. So yeah, a uh, very quick review for this guy. Uh, final thoughts, I think he's a pretty fun Legends class figure given that um, you know he's a Legend class and triple changes. That's kind of cool. I like that they made him part of the aerial bots. Uh, I would say the the biggest complaints are, as I showed you, it's really hard to keep these legs tabbed together. But other than that, he's a fun little figure. I would recommend picking him up. I think, again, he's one of the stronger of the Legend class figures from Wave 1, I would say. Um, Bombshell and, and Powerglide are my favorite from the Legends class from Wave 1 Combined Wars. Alright everyone, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to keep up to date with my videos and uh, reviews, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Alright, that's all for today everyone. Have a good one.